Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering War 9 of Season 52, and today we're against my old alliance, SSX. Now, this is the first war that I'm going to be bringing my Rank 3 Void for this season, which I'm kind of looking forward to. I've got a few fights with them. But I've got a few sketchy ones this war, so I'm a little bit nervous, but... Eh. We'll get through it. Uh, this was probably one of the fights I was most nervous about, this Havoc. Honestly, just... Yeah, I was more nervous about potentially eating a special with those Furies and dealing a lot of damage. I involved just to be careful, or just to be safe, make sure I didn't, like say, accidentally push in red or anything. And then uh, the only other worry is potentially my arms falling off. Which, I don't want to spoil anything, but we'll get there. Anyway, uh, it's going alright so far. I'm going to go for a combo, bait out a special 2. And I just want to parry heavy before my um, special 2 now, get as much degen on as possible. And I do have power backs, they're doing next to nothing, because I can't create because I've got six fatigues on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to bait out these specials. Still got the power gain up. I'll be honest, I thought that was a parry. Turns out it wasn't. Go for a special one here. Now, I don't have tactic up at the moment. Luckily, neither of those hits missed. Otherwise, I'd have been gone, or he'd have been red. And then unfazed triggers accidentally hitting the unstoppable, and now I realise that my armors have gone, and I take 50% of my health. And then I try parry it again, and I evade. Thankfully, that one landed. And then, yeah, I only just got him down. But yeah, if I didn't land that parry, then I'd have to. I wouldn't have been able to go in for the finish there, because that second burst would have killed me. And that's why that fight's scary. Anyway, this kindred, this one was also kind of scary. So, go into it with Void. The ability accuracy reduction means that even if I parry, you're more likely to throw a heavy attack. So, I think it's here. Go for a parry and then hope it lands. It didn't eat two hits from my indestructible, which is fine. It's what I used it for. Go for the punish on the special one. That just Void. Oh, I can't speak. That punish with Void can be sketchy because he, Kindred does have time to recover before you actually land your dash because it does push you just far back enough for you to have to dash in. But here I end up getting into Outbreak, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to stand back, try and build a bit of space and let this fall off. Because I do not want to die to degen damage on this node. And it's not ticking for too much, but I'm getting backed into the corner now. Luckily, it just ended. Go for an intercept here. He just throws a heavy out of nowhere. Go for it again. He just again just throws another heavy out of nowhere. So I just choose to bait a special one instead. Go for a relic. Few hits into special two, and yep, he's down. Ate a bit of degen damage, but. It's nothing a few potions can't handle. So I'm just going to try and be as efficient as possible because I do want to preserve loyalty. I do have a lot of it, but using more than is necessary can add up pretty quickly, especially in wars like this. Like I've already noticed I've started dropping loyalty drastically from what I started at this season. So I'm trying to kind of even it out a little bit. Anyway, this long shot. Nothing really special here, as long as I get a couple of petrifies up. I'm not too worried. I'm going to try and bait specials early. Just so that MD doesn't get out of hand until I get the, uh, well, either the heal block up or the or either any one or two petrifies potentially whichever is up first and by the looks of it the heal block so yeah heal block plus petrify he's not gaining any passive power 
So I'm just going to wait a little bait out this special two. Just keep throwing my special ones. And just keep trying to get him down. Now that I've got two petrifiers up, the fight's pretty much over. I think I just go for a finish here. Go for a relic. Into a combo. If that combo didn't kill, special two would have. I just thought this war at this point was pretty close on fight time. So I thought, yeah, there's no point trying to bait a special that I don't need to bait. Anyway, this fight, I involved for this fight as well because I was quite nervous. I, for whatever reason, thought this could get very far out of hand. And I'm very glad I did invul. So I go for a heavy attack here, get tactic up. He's not over 10 yet. So push him over 10. So let's bait the special one. And that power gain is going to be enough just to get him to special one there. And yeah. I'm glad I involved. Because if that crit, that would have done a lot of damage. Yeah, just going to wait out. Or bait out this special quickly. I'm pushing them way too close to being red. Especially even for this node. Even with the heal block up 100% of the time. I'm just not controlling the power very well. But, fight's over. Took a bit of damage, but that's my last Ultron fight this war, so. Nothing too wrong. Now, a new fight for me, one that I haven't taken before, this Photon on the Regen Mini with Void. Now, this is a very doable fight, even without Tactic. Oh, well, without Tactic, it's probably better because you can actually reverse the healing. But... With this... Well, Void with this Tactic's kind of nerfed just because the heal block stops you from reversing healing in non-Tactic fights as well as Tactic fights. I mean, Tactic fights, it makes no difference anyway because their healing can't go below zero. But if I stack... Two petrifies with um, extra, what they called, um, with extra despair debuffs. That'll start reversing the healing, even with enhanced recovery. And then when I get fear of the void up, it'll just keep going down even further. So yeah, I'm just going to wait out the pure light form. I'm just going to hope she doesn't throw the special one here. She doesn't, thankfully. Bit out special one. Yeah, this is basically just playing it slow and steady. And making sure that I time knockdowns when she's got as little power as possible. Like you can see here, the regen's being reversed until Fear of the Void comes up, and then it'll just keep going worse. It'll go in lower and lower. And my voids a uh, sig now where Fear of the Void is gonna be up pretty much hundred percent of the time as long as I keep special ones. Or as long as I keep throwing special ones, so yeah, we're all good. Now I'm just going to keep hitting a block, push it back a little bit. Pure light form's done, so I can actually bait specials now. I'm just going to throw a special two, special two, special one, push her to special two, bait this. And yes, she's. it's a slow fight, but she's going down. It's pretty safe. I didn't really feel at any risk of dying here unless I just didn't play the fight well. Mismanage charges and get hit a lot. Yeah, anyway, that is my first bit done. I'm going to do this. Well, I waited for quite a while just to get some pre-fights and then open up for the, for the rest of the map. You can use a power start one here. I've got Mr. Fantastic pre um I think I've got the Petrify and the Suppression. So I used Power Start 1 here because I wanted to make sure that I had enough power to be able to knock him down with Special 1s. Did some duels and the Heavy Attack Punish with my Heavy Attack. It wasn't the most reliable. So I didn't really want to risk something like that in a war fight. Uh, one thing I did find out from this as well is if you parry against a stun immune node it actually gives you a tactic charge 
which is not something I realised because I thought that the parish stun was excluded from that even if they were immune. But turns out I can just build, or I can just put the heal block on by parrying five times. Whether that's a bug or not, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I don't think it would have mo like made or broke made or broke this fight. It's it's not a make or break situation, basically. Like this this fight would have pretty much gone the exact same even if I didn't Well, even if that wasn't the case. And I have one more fight, and it is that bullseye on polka dot power again with Sunspot. Now this war is ridiculously close. So, we were up 5-3, while we had, I think, 15 fights left to clear. And then one of our guys disconnected, so it was 5-4. Then we cleared up to the boss in this fight. And, uh, one of my alliance mates soloed the Enchantress boss with Joe. So, this was the only fight, really. I, I had a Death's Wiggle Room here, just in case. If I didn't, I would have ranked 3 to Sunspot. Now, you'll see, I go for an intercept here. He evade, he, he had a, a hair left on the evade timer, but the unstoppable from the um, Horseman pre-fight actually saved me from getting hit. Which, yeah, that was quite lucky. But, I'm not complaining, solo's a solo. And that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.